It's hard to tell if this is level or not. It's pretty close. I'm trying this for a second time because the first time I started with the mic in my pocket, way on my on my leg pocket, so it was way away from my face. So I guess I'll get to test that audio, but I wanted to uh, try again. This is pretty basic settings for both the camera and the mic. I'll talk about them as I walk, but I'm starting out here in a nice little park in Texas, in San Antonio. I'm gonna walk and talk, see how the audio and the video do. Lots of new gear to me, so I'm testing lots of stuff all at once. I'm trying to do a little bit of testing before I start traveling with it so that I can work out some of the bugs or what some of my own user error bugs, I guess. Um, see how the, it's a little bit of a breeze. Um, I do have the muff on, but I don't have, there's like some sort of setting in the, uh, the recorder that I forgot where, where it is. <laughs> so it's, I don't think it's on. And there's also like a, um, a way to cut off the lows. And I don't know if that would help with the traffic noise or if I need it. So I'm, I'm trying, most things are basic right now, pretty basic. I did go through the camera settings. Uh, I think it should be wider. I think I went with more wide view settings. Um, I have, I think, the first late level of image stabilization running. I forgot what they call it, but whatever. It's not the plus version right now. It's just the the regular. We'll see how that, see how this is doing. Um, I might change some of the settings as I go around. I'm not sure. I haven't really planned this out. I'm just kind of winging it. Um, walking around getting a little bit of I guess I could change it more often it might be more more useful as an experiment but it's a little bit um, inconvenient it's difficult to get to the camera uh, let's see I can try well actually I can do it let's see if I can do it with my phone and that's hard to see because it's a little bright out Let's see so it's ISO is fluctuating on its own so that's right you can see that is happening let's see um, and I do have some lens filters as well to try at some point but I'm not using any of them right now let me see if I can find some settings what was I trying to find? Uh, I haven't, I haven't been using the app on my phone. So, I don't know. I guess I was going to go try some... If I can find where the stabilization is. I wanted to try a different stabilization setting. If I can find it. I should do this. I should do this later. Let me see if I can do it on the camera. So, let's see. I'm getting it off the rig. So, let's see. If we do, there's me. I don't have the screen yet, so I can't see if I'm in frame. Let's see. No, it doesn't want to. There we go. Oop, there's my hand. Why is it not showing me my screen? It's not. The button that I expect it to switch screens with is not working. So maybe it's just something I can't do while recording. Maybe I have to stop the recording and do a new setting. All right, I should be back now with Rocksteady Plus. 
Originally, I, I had Rocksteady on. Now it's Rocksteady Plus. Uh, I didn't change any of the mic settings. Maybe I should have done that uh, as well. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and... Well, so this is just Rocksteady without any mic changes. Let me try... All right, so now I've got uh, Rocksteady Plus with the low cut turned on for the wireless mic. We'll try that for a little bit. Now, I don't know what exactly what it'll sound like. That's why I'm testing it, I guess. So try it out. See how it goes. Uh, I guess I could... Uh, well, once I, once I get further away from the traffic, I'll do a little bit more. I'll stop and show a little bit more about my setup. But uh, I'm just trying to get things in order, figure out how they work. Right now I'm using a... Um, a shoulder clip on a uh, a new backpack. I would test out the backpack a little bit as I walked over here. Feels really good. Uh, it's a new it's a new backpack from REI. It's an Osprey. I've had good success with Ospreys in the past, so I got one another one. I wanted uh, one that was a little bit bigger than the day pack I, nor I used or I've been carrying before. Um, I was getting to like stuffed capacity where if I have a, a water bottle in there and a jacket, and it's got an, it's got a lot of nice pockets, um, but I've been I've been getting to where it's a little bit stuffed so. I didn't want to try adding camera gear on top of that, even though this is a, t a tiny little camera, but it still would have pushed it over the edge a little bit. So I wanted to, something just slightly bigger, and this looks like it's going to fit the bill. Really comfortable to carry so far. It feels really good. I'll know more when I go on a longer hike, but. So far, the results seem promising. So now we're on to testing the camera gear, testing different settings, and I've been doing some research, watching a bunch of videos, trying to figure out how all this stuff works. Uh, so. One of the things I want to do for now, I think I'm going to just leave it in 1080p, not try to go 4K because the uh, image files will be easier to manipulate. And until I know that I'm shooting stuff that's worthy of 4K or worthy of the effort, um, I don't want to spend that much time and have that much. I would like to keep the footage as kind of a record. It's kind of, a lot of it's for me as well, just to have, be able to collect memories uh, or collect, collect uh, videos that will help aid my memory of things I do and places I go, but also help me to learn to broadcast uh, Feel like I have some things to say, some things to share, and uh, enjoy enjoy getting out and seeing new things. I uh, tend to be very curious and interested in a lot of different things, so I like to. And I'm kind of uh, feeling the lack of connection. I've been. Um, been driving a truck just got on my CDL last the end of last year did a couple months with Schneider uh, it was a good company um, I really enjoyed the lifestyle a lot of a lot of aspects of about it 
and it's uh, increased my earning potential by a lot um, already and there's a lot more to get like with getting more experience and um, getting into different types of trucking I should be able to um, increase my earning to a level that lets me get to where I want to go. So I'm going to pause this conversation right now and just change the settings again. I'll let this lady get a little further in front of me. I don't like filming people yet. I'm, I'm still uncomfortable filming. So that's part of this is getting comfortable around people. But for now, I'm going to just switch some sh settings and see see how it does. So it should be recording. Let me check again. So I turned it on to, I forget what it said, the, the horizon control or the, the first level of horizon stability whatever that setting is called it looks like right yeah looks like things are good i don't know if the mic level is good i thought about changing that as well but um this seemed good in uh, at home when i tested it um it's at 20 percent, i believe um, so maybe I should turn it up, but we'll see. Um, I did turn the low, um, the low cut back off when I changed to the horizon stabilize, uh, the horizon, uh, I guess it was a horizon steady, steady horizon, something like that. I forget. But, uh, try this setting out for a little bit. I think the... Oh, the traffic noise sheltered by the hill here. Maybe there's some more space between me and the traffic as well. So, see how this is doing. Again, we're testing out a bunch of new. The, the mic is new, the camera is new, the pack is new, the mount setting the trying uh this shoulder mount um, i have a chest mount a chest rig but it has a um kind of a nub on the back it's made of plastic that's for mounting another camera on the back or i guess whatever there's a mount place for that and that seemed like it could either be uncomfortable or possibly damage the pack if it's back there rubbing and keeping the pack off me. So I, I ordered a, a new chest rig. Uh, it should come tomorrow. I can test and see how it does or how it compares. I was worried that this... Uh, the shoulder mount would feel uncomfortable. But so far, it's pretty good. It's a, the clip is pretty big, so it's a wide area, so it's, it doesn't seem to be creating like a pressure point. That I, so far, at least, I don't notice it. And I do also have, there's tons of things to try. I have also a, um, a filter kit, which maybe I should, I might stop and, this is pretty bright, so that might help. Uh, maybe I should do that. Um, I think if I put the filter on, means that the light will be darker which what does that mean that means the shutter speed the auto shutter speed will um the duration of each 
opening. I guess it, I don't know if it's an actual physical opening or what it's when it's collecting light will be longer, so it will give a motion blur effect, which uh, peop a lot of people like. I guess it's more cinematic and feels more natural to have a little bit of motion blur. So like right right now in this, especially when I'm in the sunspots, we might see we uh, look for looking jittery or um, we'll just see what it looks like. But uh, let me go ahead and change out a filter and see how that see how that does all right so i went back to regular rock steady and i put on a filter uh it's strength two of four so it's a six uh the 16 of whatever it is there was an eight and a 32 and a 64 um, so I guess I'll spin around and see what it does in lots of different light angles. So this again is the two out of four. So I thought it would give me a good idea. All right. So just trying out with the filter again. Just passing people. Still, I guess. They were chill about it, so I don't know. Am I going to turn it off every time I pass people? I don't know. I think I'm going to need to wear sunglasses <laughs> so, I, so I don't have to make eye contact. Uh, I don't know. I was hoping it would be a little less crowded. Well, plus, um, there's kind of two... Wait, there's a... From where I walked from there's a connection one of them is down for maintenance there's two connections and one of one of the routes is down for maintenance so I thought there would be even less people out here but there's still some people out it's nice it's a nice day spring day in Texas there's a, some sort of center and the road and everything that's pretty self-explanatory but it's a Nice little park. This is kind of my standard route for when I need to get out, get some vit a little bit of vitamin D if I've been sitting inside too long. It really feels good to get out and walk. Um, clear my head and get in the sun. Just just coming outside and getting in the sun my, my feels good on my skin. I feel good. So that's worthwhile, but I can't remember what I've already talked about on this uh, test so far, so maybe I should stop, but uh, I want to, I guess I'll, in case I didn't already, I guess I can edit it out if I already did, but um talk about what i'm doing with the the equipment and the channel um obviously i'm getting a lot of new new equipment and so i'm testing it out um my intention is to just elevate this to a point of being a hobby that i enjoy that uh lets me capture some of where I'm going and what I see and what I think as I as I as I feel inspired or I'm in a good place to do it and um, learn as I go and keep improving I don't want to do too much out of the way of like I don't want to do stuff that's in the way of my own experience of the thing so like i probably won't do at least for <laughs> at least for a while i don't intend to do any of those like go set my camera down walk by the camera go collect the camera i don't know i'm i wonder if i'll ever if i'll do that but for now just have it with me shoot it 
when it makes sense and when I and not be too wrapped up in what I get and like I want to see it as like a bonus to what I normally do what I'm doing whatever it is um, that my main focus is going to still be on what I'm doing but if I have this along with me can make it into something interesting later or just something for my own keepsake or a memory then that's good and if I develop my skills and get to the point where it's interesting for people to watch and um, then that's great that's great too but I don't want to put pressure on it on anything around this to to be any certain kind of way just let it be what it is and be comfortable and uh, see how it goes uh, like I was saying I do I have been feeling a little disconnected uh, with the being in a truck uh, that is like has definitely elevated me from from where I was before I started trucking it's crazy how much of an improvement it has been for me it's like so the problems that I had <laughs> back then aren't problems anymore so now I have new problems like that's how it always is going to go so you're always going to have a new something something in front of you um i try to be grateful about the the progress that has already been made and uh not be too so wrapped up in what what's coming next that i can't be grateful for what has already what has already come so i'm gonna turn off again for Let's see, is this working? Yep, it, it appears to be. I guess I don't really need to turn it off every time. They don't seem to, they don't know the difference unless I want to explain it to them every time. There's some odd little things. I don't know if I want to go close. Well, I think there's a place I can go closer. I don't know what these are. I've seen them, they've been here for ever since I've been here. I don't know what they are. Little reflective wheel thingies. And you got some butterflies out here. It's a little bit of a kind of a Texas meadow with some trees. I really like this place that they let a lot of things grow. They even let like thistles grow all the way up and stuff. I guess people call them weeds, but weeds are just plants somebody doesn't want in wherever it is that it wherever it is that it's growing. So So, get this is as close as I want to get for now. I don't know if there's a place to get closer to these, but that lady just said that she researched it, or her daughter did, and that this is a art installation. So it looks like it, it kind of seems like it must have a purpose, but she says it's a, just, just an art installation. I thought maybe it had something to do with like butterflies. It seemed like it might attract butterflies or something, or hummingbirds or something. I don't know. Kind of interesting. It's making. I don't know if B 
be interested to see if there's a sound. There's like a some I don't know, a little bit of a shimmering sound coming from them. I wonder if it, the mic picks it up. So that'll be a little bit of a bonus test, I guess. So I guess hopefully I landed landed on the right setting for what I'm doing, which is I think where we are at, we're at the rock steady, just the regular rock steady, not the plus. Again, I have the the filter in. So hopefully there's a little bit of motion blur with that, making it look more natural. And we'll see how it does in the shaded spots. If that if it becomes too dark. And I did the second strength because that will um, I'll kind of get an idea of the, uh, the at least the next two. I'll get, get well the. The one before, I basically it's half the strength, and the one after is double the strength. So, this gives me a good idea, at least a, a starting place for three of the filters to have an idea of what it would be like. But for now, I think that's a pretty good test. Um, I think what I'm going to do next is try a hyperlapse and probably I might go all the way home with it or at least back to the start of the trail or who knows maybe I'll just stop at it when I feel like it's enough so let me start up that start that up do another spin around. Let's do a spin around in the shade. Let's find a shady spot. Do a spin around so I can see what, again, I'm seeing what this filter is like. Is this, that wasn't really shaded. Here's a, a more shady spot. So we'll do, we're in pretty, pretty deep shade. So do a spin around, see what the lighting conditions like. See if it's keeping up well. And then let's go into the sun again and do a spin around. So I'm, I don't know what I'm actually looking at. I don't know if it'll be good. Let me get a little bit more distance to look at. And do a, so like we're facing directly well, the sun's pretty, it's noon, about noon, so the sun's pretty directly ahead, overhead. Might not be, I don't know if it's 100% straight up because it might be different for where I am in the time zone and daylight savings and all that. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, here's a little bit of a test and switch over to hyperlapse.